Hey, Real Green Ninja here. Today we're going to do a tidbit video, which is one where we're not going to go into too much detail on how to set things up or how it actually functions. It's just going to go on straight and tell you how to do it. So let's begin. Today we're talking about how to find those jobs that have fallen through the cracks, the ones that you may have not printed out and have not done yet or are not printed out yet. We're going to go to reports, scheduling, unservice list. As with any report I go into that I'm not quite sure how it was ran last time, I'm going to go ahead and hit reports and clear current report criteria which resets this report back to its default settings. Once we do that, I'm going to select the service or services that I want to look at. I want to do all of them right now just so I pull something up as well as the routes. You also have some other criteria, dates since last service, schedule date, and so on and so forth. But we're going to look for things that are currently in the Y status, meaning we have not printed them out. We can also look for jobs that are in the ASAP status if your company uses them as well as jobs that were printed. And if you aren't, don't care about jobs that were printed in the last week, you can say the job has to have been printed more than X number of days ago. Again, I don't care about that. I just want to find jobs that fell through the crack. Once you set the criteria, again, you're going to make sure everything's where it needs to be as far as service here and stuff like that. You're going to go ahead and do a preview because you always want to do a preview before you print or do anything else simply because some of these reports I have seen go thousands of pages long. So again, we're going to go ahead and do a preview. Uh, ba -bum -ba -bum. I'm going to go ahead and pause this because this is a tidbit video and wait till it's generated. All right, finished generate. So it popped up my report here, but pretty much it's going to show you anything that customers currently have in the Y stats. Now, I did it for my 2016 season, which I had my renewals already done. So again, eh, <laughs> it's going to be a lot. But like I said, it's going to show you any customers that have a Y status type job. And therefore, you can double check to make sure whether or not you did it. If you did, make sure to get it in post production. If you didn't do it, if you're or if you're planning to do it, you can go ahead and go out and do it. Or if you don't plan to do it, just give a skip code. So hope that helps and have a 